on the EW livestream, they also shared the patch notes that's coming with this brand new New Zealand Reserve. And let's just say it is probably one of the biggest patch notes in terms of fixes. And it is some really important ones as well. And there is actually some really, really nice quality of life fixes as well. And we're going to try to run over all of them in this little video here too. Just so you know what you can expect whenever you're going to get out and hunt the New Zealand Reserve. We're going to be using footage from the live stream showing you the feral pigs that they also did manage to find quite a few of. And they actually look pretty good and they come in a ton of different variations. This one basically looks a little bit like the black gold variation of the uh, wild boar. And one of the big quality of life changes you actually see right here. As soon as the community manager pulls out the camera, the tracks disappears. This is something that us content creators has been wanting for a long freaking time just because we had to go into the menu to actually disable the tracks every single time we wanted to take a thumbnail picture. If you want to stay up to date with any of the news and such going on in the Call of the Wild community as well, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you updated with that. But in the patch notes, it does say of bug fixes in the animals and environment, they fix the true rack scoring on white-tailed deer, a roe deer and moose where the probability of scoring a diamond rating was very low. They also fixed an underlying issue with the animal scoring system that caused mule deer, axeteer and European rabbit population to have too many animals with the lowest or the highest possible score. This hopefully is going to be the end of the uh, very many diamond axeteers as well as not really seeing any mule deer diamonds anywhere. However, they are apparently not mentioning the moose issues anywhere, so maybe it's just as it's supposed to be, or they're not aware. I'm not sure which of the two of them it is. Fixed several issues related to animals sometimes not dropping clues. Fixed clashing with the deer, wild boars, raving and hunting for gold hunting missions in Heersfelding, so that is no longer necessary to harvest an animal inside a hunting pressure zone. This seems to be a mission fix. Fix the animations of trophy poses of the red deer and rodeo where the antlers were detached from the skull. And walking on fallen branches no longer sounds like walking on wooden floor. Of bug fixes with weapons, gear and character, they fixed the 22 Anderson Weapon Pack 3 pistol accuracy so that it no longer shoots too far to the right. They also fixed the Solokin MN 1890 from Weapon Pack 2 um, to have better accuracy with scopes. Downing animal with bows generates less hunting pressure now. This is a big one. It does not say how much it has been decreased, but let's just take... I would say it's probably been decreased to at least half, maybe even a fourth of what a rifle does. This is a huge change for the bow hunters and really does give a lot of love to the bows. Fixed persistent ATV sound when switching reserves while driving. In user phase and multiplayer... In user interface and multiplayer... They fixed issue where the trophy lodge wouldn't load when switching between two lodges of the same type when using a gamepad. Fixed missing button prompt for entering an ATV. Fixed the highlight on animals track so they no longer show in the screenshot captured with the camera. Big change! Big change! I'm happy with that one. That's a quality of life change as I've ever seen one. Fixed several issues resulting in animals falling out of sync between players in multiplayer game. Hunting towers and blinds no longer remain occupied after player leaves a multiplayer game while inside a tower or a blind. In the miscellaneous apartment, they fix the Thanksgiving achievement so that it unlocks correctly all the time. Fixed a small exploit in spirit animal, let it fly, and shotgun achievements. Fixed the issue where weapon and equipment would show up next to an ATV while driving. Fixed certain cases where the game would shut down due to becoming disconnected from Steam server, even when playing offline. Also, the usual various crash fixes. This is probably one of the best patch notes that I've gone through where I've actually been super excited about some of them. I mean, they, it clearly shows that they have actually started to listen to what the community wants because it is quality of life changes, but they are really addressing some of the major issues as well, especially giving the bow hunters and the multiplayer a lot of love and it's what we need i myself have played a lot of multiplayer lately i cannot wait to get out there and uh, try to do multiplayer on the new new zealand map once that drops soon but um, yeah if you want to read them yourself they're going to be in the discord you can find a link to that down in the description below and what about them piggies as i said we didn't get to see too much in the reveal stream itself it seemed pretty hard to find anything but there's going to be a ton of creators who's going to be uh, doing a lot of content on all of this during the weekend so uh, i'm sure we'll get to see a lot of the animals and in the game. I think they look pretty good so far. I can't wait to get them.